Well, I got a little more primer on here, and this is looking pretty good. A tiny bit more cleanup I'm going to need, and then those coves are good to go. Uh, working on the window frames, got them all cut out and CA on them and touched up the paint on the inside with some red paint. And I've got, uh, I don't know if you can see, a couple uh, clear parts cut out, ready to laminate those together. I gotta paint uh, some of the inside of the doors here in the panel, touch the paint up there. Maybe start painting this guy. Um, there's some, I'm gonna do some tests on adhesives. You see, before I glue these window frames in, I gotta paint the outside of the hatches. Cause once the windows are in, that's gonna be hard to mask. I'm afraid if I put masking on the window, I take the masking off, the window's gonna fall off inside the capsule. So that won't be good. So a lot of this uh, customization and detailing is um, uh, a bit of a game with uh, what order do you do things? Because uh, you got to paint before you assemble and assemble before you paint. And it, uh, it you gotta keep that in mind and kind of go slow. So uh, it's, it's coming along. Well, I got the airbrush out and put some paint on these things because I uh, don't want to try to mask this uh, window with the uh, transparency. And so we'll see how that came out. Might have to touch up the inside. That's not bad. Maybe some of the edges. So I think we're good there. So uh, I think I can proceed to install these spiffy frame uh, window transparencies. See, that came out okay. Not too bad. And um, where are my transparencies? Here's some. Here we go. It's just a, a laminated um, cardboard, you know, cardstock printed on, on a inkjet, cut out, stiffened with some CA, and I made a sandwich with the uh, clear part. And that'll go in the window here if I can find the right one. I think that's the other one. Yeah, the little the little bolts go on the inside. So there's a left and a right hand version here. Just gonna get the right one. Something like that. And so that looks a lot better than just a piece of clear acetate. But that'll fit in there. There we go. Something like that. And from the other side, it looks like you got a little bit of a red trim. So um, we can proceed with the detailing of the doors and um, detailing the uh, um, astronaut figure. So I've uh, glued in the windows, the frame windows, on both the hatches. If I can find the other hatch. Oh, it's in the door. And you can see it's uh, painted. So I can mask more around the uh, hatch and um, put it uh, uh, without having to worry too much about masking that fragile transparency. As you can see, I'm starting to get these um, pieces assembled. We'll get back to that in a second. But there's a, a little bit more detail that gets added here. I've got that bumper. There's a little, this is the hatch handle. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's a metallic color perhaps. So there's a little, little paint touch up here. There's this little, uh, I just put a piece of sprue here. It's part of the hatch lever assembly that unlatches everything. And um, so this is getting pretty close, ready to go. Uh, now what I've noticed, and the interior is, is all, I think is detailed as I'm gonna get. And so what has to happen now, I'm starting to, to glue the, uh, the three fuselage peaches on. The problem that comes up um, I've had with earlier builds of this old Revell kit is there's some warpage in less than perfect alignment. Oh, I also had to put a hole in here for the base. Um, here we go. That'll work something like this, if I can find it. You get the idea. That slips in there. Um, but just test fitting these, I now notice two things. One, I added some material inside the hatch to, to bulk up the 
uh, real space cove replacement, which still needs a little little shaving there, a little carving, and some. There's so many gaps in the hatch itself where it fits. Um, I added some internal pieces, but now that interferes with the uh, instrument panel. So I had to shave this back a little bit just to get this to uh, fit flush. And now I notice the hinge mechanism on the hatch itself is getting in the way of the kit part. So this hatch will be closed. So I will probably need to remove this feature, um, this feature from the uh, closed hatch because it doesn't fit the way the kit's designed. It's supposed to go behind the door there and it's just not going to fit. So we'll take that out and uh, continue getting these parts aligned. And uh, oh, I've got my astronaut figure almost ready to go. I got a few more things on him to paint and then he'll get glued into the uh, seat. And because um, I think I did this once without gluing the uh, figure in. Anyway, um, so that's where this is coming along, trying to get this capsule all uh, assembled. Okay, what do we got? Well, we got the fuselage glued together. Got some tape holding it. Um, it um, these seams are always a pain. You can never quite get them aligned right uh, due to warpage and especially here with all the modifications. But uh, I got it in, I got the hatch there. It, it'll, it won't close all the way, but that's okay because it's going to be actually glued open. I tried to get it to open as much as possible, and I think we'll be okay here. Uh, I puttied up the seams as best I could, let the glue dry. So that's pretty good progress, finally. Um, I cut off and glued on a real space uh, nose section and patched up that seam a bit. So that's ready to go on there. Um, and I just cleaned up the adapters and, uh, just barely getting started on that. So, um, we're getting close to wrapping up major assembly and we can move on to painting. Well, this is about patched up as much as it's going to get. I've taped over the hatch and got the, uh, nose and RCS sections glued on, covered the window here and I'm ready to give this some primer check all the seams and then we'll give it some black paint so that's ready to go got the adapter just got a marker for the top and all the uh, uh, rcs panels added is from the real space models upgrade kit so um letting that set up and then i gotta work on the mounting the thermal shield in the back from them and um uh, this will be ready for priming in a little bit. Hey, I got some primer on here, the adapters. I hit it with some gray first to get a uniform base because we have white and we have uh, gray colors. You know, I try to get a good base to cover some opaque paint on there. This will be followed by a coat of Tamiya gloss that I'll airbrush on. But I like to let things dry overnight. Ditto with the uh, capsule, got some more primer and a little white on the front, which would probably be the final coat. Touched up a few seams. Uh, I think we're ready for black paint, but again, let this dry overnight and proceed with that. Uh, meanwhile, I had that spare adapter section and I cut out the uh, thermal shield from Real Space Kit, just vacuum form. And this kind of fits in here weird. Um, it's a little diameter, it's a little small, but if you cut it out, um, you know, a little higher, it'll hold itself in. And actually it does stick out over the edge a little bit if you look at the, you know, Gemini 6 and 7 photos carefully. And what I've done is come up with uh, pieces of foam board, and I'll put it in here as a base, and I give it a little more to glue in. But also there's that antenna, and I have the magnetometer boom on the back on this mission. And that comes out of a little hole there, and I can punch that through and put a little brass rod and anchor it in here. And these dots uh, show the anchor points for the uh, support wires that hold it up. 
and I can just punch that through and um, put some some thin wire in there to hold that and just glue it in. So that's um, working on that. Meanwhile, then I'll, I'll glue this into the back of that one when it dries a little bit, and we'll have this ready to go, um, kind of at the towards the end of the process. But I'm just doing that now. So that's coming along, and oh yeah, in my uh, diagram here I found shows where all of this goes. Here's the uh, two forward thrusters. Um, so that gives you the orientation, and here's the, the cable stabilizers, and uh, those two points, and um, the punch the hole in the center of that uh, depression there. So that's um, how that's all going to work. These um, replacement parts that um, Real Space Models provides for the nose has cables that go around to the uh, drogue parachutes. And, and generally, the molding um, is, isn't perfect. So there's often little gaps in the cables. So I've attempted to repair them with tiny little bits of circular um, styrene strip. And now I'm blending them in because the diameter is a little off and there's still gaps. So I'm filing it down and um, filling it with uh, CA and um, Hopefully that'll uh, clean that up so it's a little more presentable. 